working together as, as, as you would with somebody who's drunk. Okay? So you might say, but how could you do that if the person's dead and their feet would drag? Yeah, her feet would drag, causing the bones and everything to, to maybe a broken toe, broken ankle, because I see that. I see her body, her feet are in the wrong direction, like her ankles out. Um, so literally, I see somebody drag, walking. They, they didn't put her in a car. I don't see a car. Okay, this car's in the driveway in the parking lot, but I don't think she got in that car. But this is my opinion. So dragging like this, one second. I don't know what's happening. So I feel like the dragging, sort of like this. Like you take take an arm, put an arm over your shoulder, and then you put your hand here and you put your hand under the chest, and you could literally just drag that person for a little while. I know it's weird, but it's just what I get. Okay, so where did they go? That that took more concentration. Weird things are happening out here. I just want to have peace. Okay. Alright, so anyhow, where they went was in my picture. Okay. I definitely see trees and they're skinny. There's a mixture of pine trees and oak trees. Okay. That was very specific. Okay. I see the dirt brush area, then some green, and then I do see a little skinny creek. It might even be man-made. It's very skinny. Like you could walk over it in one big step. Okay? But she, her being dragged, she's going to get more injuries because she's being dragged. All right? Um, and so this, this little creek here, and I wrote down a skinny creek. It could be man-made or it could just be just a very thin creek that's two feet wide at the most, I think, and rocks and stuff over there, right? So first, first I'm looking through Kelly's eyes. First she would see, you know, maybe even a little street, and then these, these trees, and then the brown, the green, and then this little creek, and then I saw a fence, and it was an old-fashioned fence, like the kind I grew up with that was metal that was metal with the squares. Remember the old-fashioned fences that were metal? Like a grid? They were like a grid. I see that very, very, like, and it was gray. Grayish. It might have been spray-painted white at one point, but it, you, you see more of the gray steel. They don't really have those fences anymore, so that's why I think it's old. And so there's this fence. Then I see this white trailer. And the white trailer is metal. Now, I feel like it's an abandoned trailer, but people could live in abandoned trailers, or it could have been near the farm that they stayed at. I don't know what that area looked like. I'm not good with Google. I, I am good with my mind, though, what I see. So, it's a white tractor, trailer factory, uh, or abandoned. Okay, so it could just be a, a, a trailer that's abandoned or a factory, but it's white and it's metal. It's metal. It has to be metal, as well as this fence. There's trees around it, okay? So, I feel like at first he threw over this fence, and yeah, you have to have tremendous strength. So, the male that I'm picking up threw over the fence, and I, I, I don't feel like there was another person with him. There was one person, and there was Kelly. And he threw over the fence, but then he realized you could see her. So then I think he went around, got her, and then put her under brush. I don't think she's buried. And I contacted um, Doc Rose and Blind Spot, and they both said the same thing. Not buried, but things on top of it, like sticks and dirt and brush. You know what brush is. I 
kept hearing the word brush. So within walking distance um, from the hotel, brush trees, uh, trail a creek is skinny. Um, yeah, and I think this person who did this um, might suffer from like uh, blackouts or um, maybe they smoked something that had something bad in it and it had a reaction. I don't think this person set out to do this, um, but they had a blackout and a psychic break or whatever, um, and they might not remember everything. And um, I spoke to Blind Spot, and she said the same, and I think Doc Rose concurred with that. But um, they went back to the hotel and went to sleep and think this is a dream. Um, so what they need to do is, if they're having little excerpts of memory coming back, they just need to go to the police and be straight up. Okay. So I'm not sure who it is, but um, this is what I got. So, that's a vision I get. If this makes sense to anybody, if you could search where you see a slim creek, pine and oak trees, a metal trailer, it might be abandoned or it might be, some people might be living in there. Um, and the fence, I don't think she is deep down. She's not not buried. It's not deep down. I cannot believe that they haven't found her. Okay. So, what did I get? Message cards. The message, first message card I got was don't hate, meditate. Okay. So, thank you angels for guiding me to love, to love through meditation. Okay, so, yeah, don't hate, meditate. Now, these, these are my um, angel cards that I asked Kelly to give us some messages. So, yeah. She says there's too much hate in the world. That's true. She says, I want everybody to talk more about what I did, what, what my movement was supposed to be. She's just showing me me. She goes, she goes, you know how like you're supposed to be all namaste and zen, but a lot of times you're not zen. And so it's, it's hard to practice what you preach 
but she she had a whole movement and yeah that'll be bought but first we have to find you honey we have to find her first we have to find your physical body first okay honey and then we, we could talk more about that of course we will okay express your creativity Kelly certainly did. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. I'm loving her blue hair. Okay. Make healthy choices. Yeah. She goes, she goes, we wouldn't be in this mess if, if I stayed healthier. Thank you, angels, for guiding me to make healthy choices decisions. No, well, nobody deserves to be murdered. Got that right, sister. Oh, this is going to give you the chills. A new beginning. Thank you, angels, for opening the doors to change. I am ready. She just said to me, the journey does not stop. When you pass away, you have another journey in heaven. But if your physical body has not been found, you need to, we need to find that physical body so that they're not always, like, they have one foot here on the earth. And then, they're, of course, their spirit is in the spirit world in heaven. But their one foot is on earth if they haven't had a proper burial, if they haven't been found. Okay. All right. So then the tarot cards um, that I got, and this, for some reason, this reminds me of the farm. Okay. So creativity, queen of wands, creativity, everything to do with creative life um, is what all about Kelly. I mean, Kelly, um, a lot of people probably don't know this, but she had, they, they were like, oh yeah, she was a left-handed musician. She was in charge of, uh, she had a band called the Baby Killers. Um, she had loads of songs that she wrote. And you can see all that on Facebook if you search for it. She even has a short YouTube channel under her name. So, but what they don't know is that she got a, a BA and an MA um, uh, of creative arts, of music and arts. Um, yeah, she has two degrees. And the, they're all in creative fields. I mean, she just, she played the drums as well as uh, the uh, guitar and electric guitar and regular guitar. Okay. All right, so she's showing me I'm looking to where to find her body, where to find a physical body, that was the question. So the sunflower is showing me outside, but it also represents, yeah, and it represents um, the, the Queen of Wands. Sorry, I'm just, she's trying to tell me something off the Queen of Wands. Oh. I just wanted to grow things, do my art, do my music. She was, I didn't have to be famous. I didn't have to have a lot of money. Um, but I wanted to be loved the right way. I'm sorry, honey. She goes, I'm all, I was almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, okay. She's showing me animals all around her. Animals and chickens and uh, lots of cats and dogs from the, her past. Um, animals all around her. Unconditional love, she said. She gets unconditional love from them. So funny. She's like, 
Katrina, I didn't even think I would I would be up here. She goes, I didn't think I was good enough to be up here. But then the big guy was talking to me, and I was like, who's this guy talking to me all the time? That was Jesus. He showed her when she was a little girl. He showed her, and I think she saw. Oh, okay. I think her father's with her. She's showing me a male energy, and it's like, uh, it feels like, um, it's either a father or a grandfather. He put his hand out to bring her, to bring her up. She was. I still didn't know what happened. I didn't understand why I was seeing him. Wow. Oh, he looks so different because it's been so long. I think her father was died when she was a little girl, or just a long time ago. And. She said it was so long since she saw him, so she didn't really recognize him because he was kind of like the same age as her. Oh, but she, but she goes, I, but I felt a goodness. I felt a good energy. I'm glad, I'm glad about that. Yeah, I'm just getting all, I'm getting a lot of wands, and wands are, are fire signs, usually representing fire signs. Um, I also had my daughter do the cards, and she got wands, tower card, which is usually, you know, a big fight, a blowout, and then, um, magician is, like, having everything ready for you, um, but wands, a lot of times, represent the, the fire signs, uh, Sag, uh, Sag, Leo, and, um, what's the other fire sign? All right, I'm having a brain freeze, so let's just move on. But the wands usually are conflict, fighting, um, having the energy to speak your mind, having the energy to stand up for yourself and say, you know what, this is not working, and I'm going to choose a new path. And I think that's what she was trying to do. This is going to be resolved. This is definitely going to be resolved because we have the resolution card. Okay. Then I got the seven of pentacles. Also outside. Okay. Work frustrations, hard work needing to be done either at work or situation in life. Yeah. So, yeah. She's, she's telling me, yeah, they don't have all the facts and they have to, like, you know, the thing that I told you, the five things that I told you. The farm needs to be checked out with cadaver dogs. The, that metal trailer needs to be checked out with cadaver dogs um, because now it's a long time. Uh, downtown Live Oak, people need to be spoken to or re-spoken to and... Um, yeah, and mainly we have three people, uh, the boyfriend, um, JR, and Amber. That's it. That's all, like, th those three people were the closest to who's going to see her at what point, all right? So what I'm getting from this is, yeah, she, she was very high. She was very up and excited about the new dream that she was going to embark on with her boyfriend. And then all of a sudden she would crash and say, this is not gonna work. Um, but notice there's a bush. I asked where her physical body is on this hand. So the bushes are there, the pentacles are in there, and the bushes, um, and there's a rake and Are you outside? Are you out? definitely outside? Yeah, but I don't want to be. Can the dogs find you, Kelly? She goes, all the cats or the chickens? 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm seeing like scrunch, she's thin. She's only five foot four and she's thin. So she's like scrunched in a corner. Maybe there's like a little bit of a ditch or a little bit of like where the fence meets, meets the ground. And then there's like an indentation, like it goes down and up. So like, a, what is that called? So that I guess the water could flow down that way. But anyway, she was like, that, that's where I am. Nobody would ever guess it. Nobody would ever think it. But we're, we're trying to, Kelly. And then she, she shows me like big pieces of, um, it wasn't like done very good at all. And I don't think the person that killed her went back to visit that area. They did search. They were around the search, but I don't, I think they tried to go in opposite directions because deep in their heart, they knew that they put her there and they didn't want everybody going over that area. So they didn't want, they didn't want it to be true. They still think that she's going to show up in physical form. Okay. So, the, um, but in reality, even if somebody if she was alive somewhere just like surviving and working she would get in touch with a mother she would definitely do that okay um ten of cups okay i just want you to look closely at this picture See the brown street, then the grass, then back here, that house. Brown street and green grass. I definitely saw the green grass. And the mixture of the green, the brown, then the green, then uh, bit of a migraine so just give me a second when you drew the picture I did when you in your car and you wrote down the five points and that's another thing please check on the five points if anybody's in Florida or in the position to to search please the five points I saw it and then when I went back to it on Google then I couldn't find it the second time that's how things work for me they disappear they're there they're gone get a migraine and it's all over. Okay. And I didn't forget about you, Saggy. Saggy Waggy. I didn't forget about you, but I was sick. So I didn't get my notes written. When I do, I will do you. You know that. Okay. So we got the five of swords, and this is feeling. This is Kelly feeling like she had to stick up for herself, and she felt like she won a battle or two. Um, and this, and this is almost like the parking lot. She's by herself, and people are walking. People are walking away from her after they were like, she she stabbed them with her words. She didn't stab them with his, uh, a knife. She stabbed them with her words. So look for the people who were hurt by her words. Look for the people who were severely hurt by her words. That's who has the information. 
she tends to push, she's, she's telling me, I tend to push people away who I love the most because I know that they're gonna hurt, end up hurting me, so I do it for them. Oh, I'm sorry about that. She said she really loves her boyfriend. Um, but she says there's different, there's two different sides to him. You never guess it. That's what she says. You never guess it. But I love the idiot. <laughs> I understand. Okay. This is five swords. It's losses. Breathe. Losses. Um, all is not lost as you still have three swords remaining, giving you the upper hand. Yeah, so she was feeling a little bit confident, but then on the same token, she felt like she was alone. But she definitely felt she was alone. Okay? I'm just gonna do one more, one more uh, with these. Kelly and Spirit Guides, Kelly Brennan, can you tell us or show us in the pictures where the physical body could be found? I know you told me already in the car and the picture that I drew, and everybody will be cognizant of it, but please give us a uh, couple more clues, just three cards I'll pick, and in the three cards, please let us know who you are. Thank you. I, you know I have a migraine working, so I gotta, I gotta end this video, that's 750 uh, videos long. Okay. Thank you, Kelly. Now these cards are really cold. I know I'm outside, but they're just amazingly cold. Also tell us in the smoke of where she is. Some people see spirits in smoke. Justice card. Angel of Integrity. Okay. Her story is going to be told, and that's really important to her. She goes, the good, bad, and the ugly. She goes, sometimes it was always ugly, but I want, I still want it told. Judgment. Whenever we get judgment and justice, that's a really good sign when you work in a case, okay? Um, this is the angel of the past. So the past is definitely coming up forward so that we, we can reveal what needs to be revealed. And we will know the answers to the questions of where is Kelly Brennan's physical body and what happened to her in July 2020 at that hotel, Live Oak. Okay. And see how she's near water? The dolphin's there, but she's not in water. So I think the creek that's nearby 
okay? It's nearby. She's not in the water itself. I told you, it's like a little bit of a ditch. <clears throat> and she, she's skinny, so she, she can fit in there. Um, and I feel like, and Blind Spot concurred with this, that um, many of her joints are broken. And I, what I saw was the dragging through the parking lot and where making believe she, she's just drunk and you're just walking with the drunk person. So of course they have to lean on you and yeah, you put their arm over you, but their legs, her legs were just dragging because she was not alive or unconscious. Um, so with her feet just being near water, that could be the creek. Okay. Then we have Angel of Guidance, the chariot. Okay, moving from darkness to light. Um, the chariot, people take it many different ways, but there is going to be travel uh, uh, around her. Okay, thank you. People are traveling in to Live Oak to investigate. People are uh, friends, family, even, you know, a boyfriend. Um, people are going to have to travel. Yes, they have to go to they have to go to Live Oak. They have to go back. She's within a couple of miles from the hotel, like walking distance. That's she didn't go in a car. I don't get her going in a car. Other people might get her going in a car. I'm sorry, I don't. Um, but the chariot card coming up means it's going to be resolved. Thank you for that, spirit guides. Thank you, Kelly. So now that I'm done with that, how about I do a card for my subs? I haven't done a card for my subs in a long time, and I'm very sorry about that. But you guys know what's been going on. I'm on, I'm on the mend. I called my doctor yesterday to ask him, you know, why I still had the a lot of bumps, and I still have this bullfrog. It's kind of solid. But uh, he never called me back. And I kind of knew that he wouldn't call me back because you have to call them like five times before they'll even give you a call back. So I just figured, you know, let me get better. Let me do my cases and um, we'll, we'll try to check it out in the new year, okay? It's too close to the holidays. So, what do my subs need to know? What do my what message do my beautiful subs need to know? My beautiful supercalifragilis, espialidocious subs need to know. I didn't even show you my pants, but they're not even 